Hi, and welcome to the Secret Hit Songwriting Formula. If you're new to the channel on YouTube, please be sure to subscribe. Or if you're watching on Facebook, please be sure to like this page. We do weekly videos here showing you how to recognize the patterns in hit songs because there is a secret hit songwriting formula. All songs that have become successful on the radio past and present day have followed certain patterns embedded in the compositions. And we show you those patterns here so you can use them in your song. So today we're going to be taking a request. We had a request for Green Day's Basket Case, and you're always welcome to leave requests for these weekly videos in the comments or on our website. So thanks for sending them in. So Basket Case by Green Day follows the formula of twos. And if you're familiar with our content, the concept of the secret hit songwriting formula is self-similarity. That is to say that each song section, in this case the verse and the chorus, must contain a dominant two note rhythmic hook in order to be self-similar and commercially successful. So let's see how this plays out in Basket Case. So there's a couple ways to look at the verse. Sometimes we count the syllables between phrases where the vocals take a rest. So that's one way to do it. Uh, I'll do it that way first. And you could also just simply add up every single syllable in the verse and it'll come out to a perfect two. So let's try it both ways. Do you have the time to listen to me whine? about nothing and everything all at once i am one of those melodramatic fools neurotic to the bone no doubt about it so there we go if we just added up all the syllables one by one it comes out to what we call a perfect two okay or if you decided you wanted to count it by the phrases, it's still gonna come out in perfect twos. Um, one, two, one, two, insignificant, right? One, two, one, two, one, two, oops. Listen, is two syllables. One, two, one, two, one, two. So we start to see a two note rhythmic pattern emerge like that if we do it this way. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, insignificant, and if we add up the insignificant syllables, we get two. So there you go, a couple different ways to look at the verse, but either way, it is a clear and obvious two-note rhythmic pattern. So, because our ears have heard a two-note rhythmic pattern in the verse, that is setting up our subconscious mind to expect to hear a two-note rhythmic hook in the chorus. And when our subconscious mind hears that two-rhythmic hook in the chorus, it's very satisfying to our ears as if we've known the song all along gives it one of those secret elements that makes it extra catchy. So the chorus goes on. Sometimes I give myself the creeps, perfect two phrase. Sometimes my mind plays tricks on me, perfect two phrase. It all keeps adding up. I think I'm cracking up. Another two note, perfect phrase. Am I just paranoid? Two notes, perfect again. Or am I just stone? Who cares? We'll just say that whole phrase is insignificant because the verses or the chorus has followed enough of those two note rhythmic patterns. And then the bridge here, grasping to control, so I better uh, hold on. It's less than four measures long. And as we talk about in our book, the secret hit songwriting formula if a phrase is only that short, it does not need to adhere to any pattern. All right, so there we go. Basket Case by Green Day follows the formula of twos. If you need more help with this, recognizing the patterns found in hit songs so you can use them in your songs, please visit www.secrethitsongwritingformula.com. We have the only ebook in the world there that teaches this secret formula. You can't get it in any other songwriting book, and it comes with a money back guarantee. So thanks for watching. Leave your requests for any more videos in the comments below. We'll see you next time.